What's the secret to growing beautiful flowers and fresh vegetables? Many people find that using sustainable organic methods for building soil and pest control makes for a healthier garden. And now thanks to an innovative program at Common Ground High School, a new generation of food leaders are on the horizon learning firsthand. Joining me now is farm manager Shannon Rader Ginsburg. Nice to have you here, Shannon. Thanks. Uh, first, tell me what Common Ground is. Uh, so Common Ground is an environmental education center and uh, public charter high school in uh, on the edge of New Haven in West Rock Park, mm -hmm. and so and it has an environmentally themed mission. There's lots going on there from uh, our high school, our urban farm, uh, and right now there's a, a whole lot of summer camp happening. That's at Common great. Ground. What a fun way to spend summer, though, right? <laughs> uh, talk to me about what an urban farm is. So in New Haven right now, there's a lot of agriculture going on. Uh, home gardens, backyard gardens, community gardens, uh, farm, small sort of market gardens to serve a lot of different people. And so basically urban agriculture is just people growing food in the city. That makes sense, right? <laughs> uh, what is it that you guys grow? Uh, out at Common Ground, we have a lot of different vegetables. Uh, all all the the big you know mainstay. We've got lots of lettuce, collard greens, kale, onions, tomatoes, peppers. Uh, we also have a bevy of farm animals. We raise. Do you? <laughs> yeah, we have chickens for laying hens and some goats and sheep. We raise pigs as well. Uh, we have some turkeys. So wow, look at that garden. A little That's bit of everything. Um, and it must be an, such a fun experience for kids from New Haven that might not know about gardening or that type of thing. Yeah, and for everybody really who comes, uh, you know, it's a good opportunity. It used to be that we sort of all grew up with either our grandparents or you know having some sort of garden. So it is a really fun way and. Um, you learn a lot from watching other people of all ages really engage sure. with the garden. Uh, so we talked a little bit about in the in the open here about uh, gardening organic. For mm -hmm. our viewers at home who might not be familiar, explain that to us. So, you know, there's a lot of ways to talk about organics these days. There's sustainable, growing sustainably, ecologically, um, there's permaculture, all sorts of things, ways people talk about trying basically to grow fruits, vegetables, flowers, mm -hmm. your lawn, everything without chemical fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, trying to use products that are a little bit more aligned uh, with the natural world and using techniques that uh, are a little bit more harmonious and uh, sustainable. Sure. Well, you have some tips for we could do this at home. Yeah, How do we get started? I encourage everyone <laughs> to go grow something that they can eat at home because um, it's it's fun. It is. Um, well, I just have a garden for the first time this year, and I'm getting so excited seeing the tomatoes. I mean, they're all green still. Yep. But it is fun. Yeah, like, it's wow, really. Look what I grew. I accomplished this. <laughs> yes, grow your own. Uh, but um, it's it's a learning curve. So yeah. from your first year to your fifteenth year, there's a lot to learn. Oh, but there's some great ways to basically whenever you are starting your garden and if you want to grow, uh, which I encourage you to grow sustainably, you want to stay away from like the miracle grows and the osmocotes and um, seedlings that are maybe grown you don't know where and with what techniques, but really to try and keep things like local and simple. Uh, one way that we do that at Common Ground is with compost, which I have a little bit of a sample here. Okay. Uh, so that's instead of a miracle grow. Yeah, like you want to basically, one of the tenets of sustainable agriculture is to start with the soil. So you want to build a good, healthy, complex, diverse soil ecosystem. And one of the ways you can do that in your home garden is by amending it with lots of so uh, compost. Okay. Uh, you also want to have good soil, so you don't want to fill your whole bed just with compost. And I think that's a common uh, compost, mistake. Like I've heard of a compost pile. Are you right. saving like? Yeah, rake up your leaves. Thing, yeah, rake, save your leaves in your yard. Don't send them off. Uh, make a pile. You can turn it. You know, we could talk for an hour about com <laughs> just compost. Okay. But it's basically, you know, decomposed organic matter. So okay. whether it's your coffee grounds um, and eggshells in a worm bin, or you want to have a compost pile in your yard, uh, lots of information and resources about that. Uh, and you want to add this to your garden. This is full of uh, things that. Uh, are exactly what your plants need. 
Okay, and let me ask you this, how do you control the bugs and the weeds without any sort of chemicals? Right. Um, well, one thing is to let go of, of full control, because that's what happens when you garden. It's tough to do sometimes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Even you are going to get some bugs and some weeds, and many of those insects are very good. And one of the things we talk about in sustainable agriculture and, and uh, home gardening is if you kill the bad bugs, you're also going to kill the good bugs. So what you're trying to invite, you're trying to invite everybody in. Everyone's <laughs> welcome, uh, within reason. and if you are using some of those sprays, you're, you're gonna get rid of your beneficial pollinators and your honeybees and your lacewings and your um, ladybugs and all of those things. A, a, diverse com a diverse ecosystem in your garden is a healthy ecosystem in your okay. garden. But um, what we, one yeah. of the, oh, sorry. Rose, go ahead, tell me about that. No, but this is something that is, um, I would encourage, this is called row cover and it's almost like a dryer sheet texture. And what this does is it allows air, sun, and water to pass through, but it keep, it's a barrier, so it keeps bugs out. And this is something that is great to put over your kale and your broccoli. It keeps out those white little butterflies. Um, there's really only like, you know, a handful of very common pests that we're trying to keep out of. And deer? Would that keep them this away? This will keep right? out your deer. Your, your veggies true. that way, right? It won't keep out woodchucks. Um, <laughs> and it may not keep out squirrels. Ah, it's worth a try though, yeah. right? Keep it's it, worth a try. Keep it healthy. And what do we have here? This is something that I use a lot and a lot of organic gardeners and farmers use. This is, um, a, is a liquid fish and kelp emulsion. Oh. Um, you can order it online. You don't have to get a gallon. You can get a quart or a pint. It's very concentrated. And you just get a little simple hand sprayer like this, very affordable. And you dilute it and it's a foliar feeder. So it's a very um, gentle fertilizer. Um, it has a lot of micronutrients and things that you might not be getting from your compost. And it kind of gives your plants, um, you can give them from every few weeks, sure. just kind of an extra boost when they're looking peaked. Pretty fascinating stuff. Now, do you guys sell your veggies? We do, we do. We sell um, everything we grow in the garden um, that the students grow and um, volunteers who come and help in the garden help grow. Uh, we have an on-site farm stand on Wednesdays and on, at the school, which means you can come and wander through the garden as well. We actually Great. have some blueberries that you could wander through. And Blue, pick. Oh, very nice. And uh, actually we have the other information up on the mm -hmm. screen here. Open farm days every Saturday, 10 to 2. And then the farm stand, as you mentioned, Jen, every Wednesday, 3 to 5.30. We'll check out uh, all the hard work you guys are been doing. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thanks for the Thanks tips. Thanks for having us. Yeah.